Happy Sunday guys. This is going to be my updated uh, camping setup. Um, in the last video you might have caught that we updated the tent and we updated the awning. Um, kind of dive in a little bit to why and what we got. But I'm Ricky Havoc, welcome to Loose Nuts Off-Road and today's video is about my new camping setup. Let's check it out. So a little context on to why we upgraded before we dive into what we got. So as you guys saw before, I had the Smitty Belt Gen 2 tent and the Gen 2 awning. Um, the big deciding factor on me upgrading was when we did our Daniel Boone trip. Uh, the Daniel Boone trip, I it rained the whole time. So if you guys know, soft shell tents are already kind of hard to deal with in great conditions I mean they're time-consuming to set up and then to tear down you gotta walk around your car four or five times especially the FJ is kind of tall so it takes a minute um, and that's if you get no zipper stuck which I have on occasion which is not fun and the, uh, the awning was great for what it was so I bought both as an entry-level rooftop tent thing just to see if I would even like it because I came from a ground tent background I had a cheap Ozark Trail uh, pop-up tent that was 50 bucks that I got at Walmart and that thing lasted me four or five desert seasons and I, st I still had it up until pretty recently I went to go open up before I got all into all this out here as far as camping and it was kind of moldy so in the trash it went and then uh, you know, I got the I got the, the I got the roof rack and the Smitty Belt Gen 2 tent at the same time. Uh, it was a the March of Madness deal, four wheel parts. I got a good deal on it, so I got that, and then I followed up getting an awning because the shade is everything. I I should have bought the awning first. I should have bought an awning a long time ago. It's so much better than carrying around a uh, one of the big setup ones. I have one of the big ones from Academy in my garage currently um but yeah uh so that tent would get it got soaked on that daniel boone trip uh because it rained a day and a half straight all day the second day and um it was a beast to put away and mind you i was keeping two sleeping bags and a pillow in there and a blanket i, I think it was two sleeping bags a pillow and a blanket which it, it made it harder to fold up I just, in an FJ Cruiser, you don't have a lot of room already. So that was my reason for, okay, let me see what else is on the market. I wanna go hard shell, I wanna go clam shell, preferably. Um, I, my buddy that you've seen in a couple of videos, he had a roof net Sparrow, which went straight up. That was kind of cool. Um, the eye campers are pretty cool. Um, but I kind of had my heart set on the Overland Vehicle Systems Mamba 3. Gussie. So the story behind the Mamba, uh, you know, I sold the Smitty Belt. The, um, I really was not looking to buy a brand new tent um, just to save some cost. If, if you never looked into it or if you're just getting into like overlanding and off-roading community and all that, Look around, there's a lot of good used stuff that people have used once or twice and just wasn't for them. So I found a gentleman that sold me a Mamba 3 for a good deal. So I went and picked that up. Uh, it's It's got its pros and cons, it's a lot heavier, but it's killer. Let's check it out.
aluminum bottom, fully enclosed aluminum, got a three quarter inch uh, condensation mat, and it's got a two inch foam mattress. It's kind of firm, but I, I kind of like it. It's got the pockets, two, two side doors and one back door. But uh, my main thing I want you guys to see right here is both one sleeping bag, a Coleman sleeping bag in here. It's got one blanket and then I got a pillow. So I can hold easily two pillows and I keep my ladder up here. One bag. So it's a ladder, telescoping ladder that has, so when you go to put it away, which was kind of new to me, uh, it's got the red ones, they drop the whole ladder in one shot once you unclip it, it's pretty cool. And then I have a shoe bag, came with two shoe bags. So this came with everything, uh, minus odd and end hardware it was missing. Um, but it was a pretty good deal for being used. Um, dude slept in it once, it had a slight tear in the side over here. I, I put some glue on it and that's good. Um, but yeah, this Mamba 3 is pretty cool. Let's see if you can see it, how I have it mounted. So they send it on these aluminum extrusion pieces. I did not get the mounting hardware. I got a couple bolts, so all I did was drill straight through the rack and mount it that way after dealing with the Smitty built, trying to get my stuff tightened. You can kind of see that bolt right there. That's one of them. This is my first hard shell tent. Now in comparison to the Smitty built, I mean obviously ease of setup is amazingly different. It's way, way quicker to tear up, tear down. Um, as far as quality, I mean the canvas is way heavier. The way they, uh, see if I can try and get some of this. It's kind of double layered through here. So it won't leak. You probably can't see that at all. With how much exposure is on but it's all the way around to help keep water out I haven't been in the rain with this yet I mean I live in Tennessee it rains all the time I haven't slept in the rain out here uh, in this I slept in the one in uh, I, I slept in the Smitty built through a couple thunderstorms and the other thing rocked got a little water in it once but it was that was my error I left the window open uh, and I'm not trying to bag on the Smitty Built. I think the Smitty Built's an awesome tent. It's just uh, it's a good starter tent. If you're not going to do this all the time, it's a good starter tent. If you're going to do this a lot, which I am and planning on doing, um, then upgrading to like a hard shell or a clam shell or an, any anything quicker to set up. Uh, let's check out the awning now. And that, I mean, it can use some tensioning, but that is it. Massive amount of shade on this. I mean, you can see it needs to be tensioned. That's it, that's the setup. Then you can drop down the legs for 
They say do not use this without the lid. My only qualm with the awning is when it first came to me, there was a hole in the bag uh, from the box being punctured from UPS. Normal, they have a four year warranty on all their products. So I hit OVS up. They sent me a new cover, which is four self tappers you back out, slide the bag off, slide the new bag on and good to go. Um, so then it rained a day or two later after I put the new bag on, it still gets wet. So what I've tracked the wetness down to is the bag is kind of tight. Um, no matter how much you roll or how much you try to compact the awning, it's kind of tight, touches the zipper, so the water's coming from the zipper. Uh, I'm going to see what I can do about that because I can't have that. But other than that, I mean, I think my camping setup is dialed. I think the last thing I'll touch on that is no name brand. A couple people, um, kind of local, were selling some storage drawers that were actually, they had custom made for the back of their FJ. It's all recovery. Alright guys, thanks for hanging out. Um, like I said, it was just going to be a quick kind of overview of the upgraded camping setup. Um, and it's hot out here. I'm kind of over it. Uh, I don't think we're doing an adventure run this month uh, just because my work schedule is kind of nuts in July and um, August. I know for sure. I know we have a meetup coming up this month at Andy's Frozen Custard on the 29th in Gallatin, Tennessee. If any of y'all want to roll out, um, flyers on our page. So check out our Instagram, Facebook all the socials um, hope to see you there and in my last video I put if anybody can guess the three animals on my FJ I'd send them a free sticker so I'm gonna see if anybody comments on them. all right thanks I'm out